British blues singer, poet and storyteller, Mike Dr. Blue McKeon joins us now in the Harvey Norman Lounge, ahead of his not one, not two, but three Fringe Festival shows that are currently kicking off in Wellington. Welcome, Dr. Blue. Hello, nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Good to see you. I love that on your website you're like a roots singer, songwriter, poet, storyteller. You say you do the thing you love and it feeds your soul, you but your body is mostly fed by single malt. That's right. <laughs> That's nice. Tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, my background, I was originally born in London um, and I have spent most of my musical career being based in and around there. Uh, recently moved to Brighton. Uh, where my wife and I enjoy living on the south coast. We're touring pretty much all the time, so that's where we go home to chill out and relax. So uh, that's me. I've been a musician since uh, my dad put a guitar in my hand when I was four, and I've never looked back. Yeah, so you came from a musical family? Uh, my father sort of acquired music as he right. got older. I mean, he took up the, bit, the banjo at 40, which is oh, probably great. not a good sound. But no, no, I'm, uh, there's always been music around. My grandfather, Jimmy, who's one of the, the parts of one of the shows I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing, he was a drummer in a jazz band. Mm. Well, let's talk about those shows, because you're here as part of the Fringe Festival and you're doing three separate shows. Can you take us through those three shows? Absolutely. First of all, Irish Jimmy, which is a storytelling show. Oh, this is about your grandfather? This is Jimmy, yeah. Oh. Irish Jimmy is my grandfather. He's called Irish Jimmy because there's quite a few Jimmys in the family, so <laughs> they all have a prefix. Well, he was the Irish one. He was the Irish <laughs> one. <laughs> right, got it. Um, and it's really the stories that I was listening to as I was growing up. And I didn't think they were remarkable as a kid, because you don't. And then as you get older and you suddenly realise that all, there was members of my family who were, were actually at the centre of some quite pivotal moments in history. Um, so we've gathered them together um, and we've, so we've got a story. There's also some songs. So there are songs that kind of um, tell part of the story and fill out some of the more of the bigger issues. What sort of moments? Like what sort of historical moments? Uh, well, I don't want to give too much away. Um, <laughs> give us a little taster. I've, OK, well, how about a, a gun running uh, suffragettes for a okay. grandma? Wow, a great OK, grandmother. well, that sounds that's good. good. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, nice. Yep. And you're debuting this show, world debut, right yes. here in New Zealand. Absolutely. Why, why, why New Zealand? I wanted to... We, my wife came back last year from, from being at the festival and she said had an amazing time she had. Oh, but she's good. a comedian. She's a comedian, that's right. And, she's, uh, and she said, look, we're going to move to New Zealand. I said, please, could, could I at least come and visit at least once? <laughs> you check it out. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I mean, I love you guys. I mean, I'm having a great time here. But um, the show, I, um, I actually stayed at home last year while she was here writing the show. Wow. Um, and it takes about six months to do all the previews and get it into a reasonable shape. And it was just a natural time to come and do it oh, here. So we are very lucky. So that's show number one. And that's show number one. Nothing yeah. but the blues is number two. Show number two, number that's at the end of the festival. Jimmy, Irish Jimmy's at the beginning. Yep. And then nothing but the blues is a is a blues show. I'm a blues man. I've been a blues singer for years, and that's really what I do. So I'm gonna. I've, I've got a great venue, the Third Eye. It's a bar. Plenty of beer, and we're going to play. <laughs> I'm going to play some blues. Maybe get some people dancing, and we're going to have a bit of a party. Oh, that sounds perfect. That sounds good. Why blues? That's a really interesting question. I started out as a folk singer in the, in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, and I kind of drifted into the blues, but I didn't realise I'd grown up listening to it. My father was a huge jazz fan. His father was Jimmy, was the drummer. I grew up listening to a lot of really good blues. Um, and I started listening to it and hearing it and then started singing it. So that, that's, that's kind of the journey for the blues. Well, it sounds like a perfect evening. We're going to get all the details that you need to know about these shows on our website oh, and oh, on screen. I'm going to come back in a minute because I've got a little challenge for you, actually, Mike. Okay. Are you up for it? Okay, Absolutely. cool. Okay, sweet. We will do that straight after this. I can see you here to creak in. I make two. Video. And we're back in the Harvey Norman Lounge with Dr. Blue himself. Now, we mentioned before you're involved with three shows That's at right. the Fringe Festival. Uh, we'll talk about two. What's the third one? third one is Fiery Tongues, which is a large polemic written by the English poet Hethcote Williams. And I was very pleased to be asked to write the music for it. So I, not only did I write the music for it, but I also play it live on stage. Nice. And that's another one of the shows that's at the Fringe. You're you are quite the curator, aren't you? You've got <laughs> lots of things going on. We are so lucky to have you here. But I thought, since you're a poet and a musician and I love the blues, I thought I'd uh, I'll give you a poem that I wrote. It's not the best poem, in yeah. all okay. honesty. Okay. Um, but you might be able to jazz it up for me, OK? Oh. So, so the poem is, woke up this morning, had nothing to say, so turned on the telly and watched the cafe. 
could taste Mark's food through the sizzle and smell and felt warm and fuzzy when I watched Mike and Mel. OK, so, OK, are you going to do it for me or do you want yeah, me to yeah, sing you, it? You, I think you should sing it. OK, yeah, OK, good, 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 good. OK, I'm just cool. going to click my yeah, fingers, yeah, yeah, OK? Yeah, yeah. I'll be the groupie. Oh, this is good. I'll be the groupie. I'll sing with, with Dr Blue here. OK, cool. Ready? You want to yeah. count, count in? Yeah, OK, cool. One, two, two three, four. <laughs> Woke up this morning. <laughs> Had nothing to say, so turn on the tally and watch the cafe. Could taste Mark's food through the sizzle and smell, and felt warm and fuzzy when I watched Mike and Mel. And I'm sticking with this man. You can go and see him in Wellington. Why have you got a small guitar? That's what my ten-year-old has. Uh, this is this is what we call travel guitars, and I can fit this in the overhead compartment in an airline, so I don't have to carry. I've, I've got several others, but I've got. I don't. This one I can take for a, a, like today. I can jump on a plane, throw this in the overhead locker, nice. and not have to worry. And I, it's actually quite uh, useful to have it at hand because one of my guitars got damaged by the baggage handlers coming over here. Right, so you want to keep oh. an eye on it. <laughs> so yeah. you need to keep an eye on it. Yeah. So uh, you know, clearly you've been here for a little bit now. What do you think of New Zealand? Oh, I love you guys. Um, I really, I'm really enjoying myself here. Um, the weather is... I'm waiting for the weather. Um, but, uh, <laughs> oh, in Wellington, you might be wild. Just quietly. <laughs> no, I really... I think you guys are fab. You're very friendly. Got a really can-do attitude. Already we've been... We're setting up two of the four shows. Right. You sit down, people are very professional, they're very quick, they're very fast. Um, and it's just a real can-do attitude. Nice. No, I really enjoy... I'm going to really enjoy working here. Excellent. Oh, Can't fantastic. beat Wellington on a good day. Yeah. No, and uh, a famous line from Dr Blue, why speak when a look says a thousand words and you can have a look at his shows. Irish Jimmy continues at the Third Eye in Wellington until Sunday for all other performances. Check out the Fringe website. Thank you so much yeah, for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you so I love that. Good fun. Thank you. It really was.